Welcome to another episode of Data Journeys. This is the place we come to, to learn from data and analytics leaders, their lessons, their do's and don'ts, their stories. And today I have the pleasure of talking with Soral, who is Senior Director of Engineering at SNAP. Soral, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks for having me, Bruno. All right, everybody should know who SNAP is, but in case they don't, give us a quick synopsis. What does SNAP do? So uh, let me quickly introduce Snapchat. Snapchat is an app that hundreds of millions of people around the world use to express themselves and have fun with their close friends. I think what's most unique about Snapchat is the focus on real friendships. We build features like AR lenses, maps, and spotlight uh, to enable the fastest way to communicate with your close friends. My role is uh, the leader for platform teams where I lead teams like infrastructure, data, and IT. Uh, and as part of the, uh, my teams build uh, a centralized data analytics platform that powers all of the features on the app. And you yourself have worked at various cloud uh, vendors, Amazon, Microsoft, and today you are standardizing Google Cloud for data. You ingest four petabytes of data every day into BigQuery, 1.8 trillion events a day at peak. So. We're definitely talking about a lot of data. So take us through the use cases that you're working with, with all that data. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we use everything on Google Cloud. Uh, uh, we use Google Kubernetes Engine to ingest and collect all of the data at Snap. Uh, we use uh, Google Cloud Storage as the staging data, uh, as the data lake for staging all of our data. We use PubSub, Big, uh, Dataproc, and Dataflow to uh, do batch and streaming ETL to transform and anonymize the raw data as well as generate business insights. And we are really heavy users of BigQuery. We use BigQuery as the centralized data warehouse for storing all of our telemetry data. Uh, we use it for ad hoc interactive analysis as well as schedule reporting. That's excellent. So BigQuery really is kind of the heart of your data system. Now, of course, there's also cataloging and the ability to manage data uh, with the central policy. So you're using Dataplex there. Tell us more about that use case. Absolutely. So we have over 200 petabytes of data stored across 30,000 GCS buckets across 1,500 GCP projects. Uh, we use Dataplex as helping uh, achieve our vision of uh, building a logical layer of data organization across all of this data. And Dataplex has helped us uh, build this logical layer to manage across 1,500 different projects and make decisions without having to uh, physically move data across all of these different projects. And you're also an early adopter of Looker. So I'm interested now in understanding how all these pieces of technology come together to enable specific uh, use cases. So talk to us about you know, how people are consuming the results of, of these data products. Our original data platform was actually really basic. Uh, we had Google App Engine, uh, which was uh, the primary application which was running Snapchat for uh, uh, the longest time. And we were publishing all of the events from Google App Engine directly into BigQuery that helped us uh, quickly bootstrap our data pipeline. Since then, the complexity of our data use cases kept growing with things like machine learning, maps, and Spotlight. To focus on these, we kept evolving our data infrastructure uh, using Google Cloud. And at this point, we have built a fairly sophisticated data pipeline that supports real-time streaming and batch processing uh, for data analysis, experimentation, and machine learning. That's excellent. And you've been a great partner of Google Cloud as well, particularly when you're dealing with so much data at such a large scale and such a fast speed, you know, there uh, might be optimization around slot management and so forth. So tell us a little bit about what you've learned here and how we work together uh, to innovate in the area of capacity and, and slot management. Absolutely. I actually really appreciate the collaboration with Google Cloud. We have often brainstormed solutions together and we have worked with Google engineers who have been great partners to solve our problems. Especially on BigQuery, we have uh, helped influence some uh, really cool innovations like uh, BigQuery partitioning and slot management that has helped our business and uh, helped to grow our BigQuery usage by 10 to 20 times at Snapchat. That's outstanding. Now, you have been in the industry for a long time. You've worked at various organizations. So this is definitely not your first rodeo. Now we're getting to the section where I'm gonna ask you about the do's and the don'ts. Now we like to start with the positive ones. So if you were to start this journey again, what would be the things that you think must absolutely done and must be learned from people listening to us? 
Absolutely. That's a great question. Uh, first of all, I think privacy by design is something which is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges the industry is facing right now is ensuring how we are responsible with how we collect, store and delete user data. And right from the early days, Snapchat has been a pioneer uh, in privacy first feature development uh, uh, with uh, features like ephemeral messaging. Second, uh, I am a leader of platform teams at Snap, and it's really important uh, to focus on developer experience and usability of all of the tools and platforms which are uh, used by uh, developers. We have thousands of developers and data scientists using all of these data platforms, and focusing on user experience is the key to uh, widespread adoption of these platforms. And then finally, we have realized that telemetry should be extremely lightweight. Data products should be extremely lightweight on our client devices. Uh, uh, at one point, uh, almost one third of all of the upload bandwidth was just telemetry usage on our client devices. Uh, and that was just not scalable for us to go in developing markets. So we have the, tried really hard to optimize uh, the, the usage on our client devices to make sure that we can grow in all of the developing countries. Excellent. So privacy, focus on usability, telemetry data, what's the flip side of that? What are the don'ts? What are the worst practices, if you will, that you might have witnessed throughout uh, your career that you want people to pay attention to? Yeah, absolutely. We have heard, learned some hard lessons as we have scaled our data pipeline over the years. Uh, the number one is, uh, not cataloging all of your data can lead to a lot of pain later. We have talked a lot about the scale of our data on this call and, uh, uh, we did not do a great job at cataloging all of this data in the early days. And so we have had to go back and recatalog all of the data at Snap, understand the lineage of data, how the data is being used and by who it is being used. Uh, that has been a very painful experience, but uh, something which has been really important for us uh, uh, as we uh, evolve our data platform. The second is... Uh, uh, we just cannot assume that anything would work out of the box at our scale. Uh, uh, we have to work very closely with open source community and Google Cloud uh, uh, to make sure that solutions scale well with the volume of our data. And then finally, uh, we did not do a great job at uh, standardizing some of the solutions. So we let engineers pick and choose whatever solutions work best at any given point in time. And over the years, that has led to proliferation of solutions at Snap. Uh, and we are now going back and kind of uh, building blessed solutions, which are uh, standardized at Snap, so that we have a small number of uh, uh, technologies like Spark, which we can rally behind as a company. So cataloging is very important. We learn this from customers we work with who, you know, take advantage of products like Dataplex, or with, which now has catalog capabilities so you can understand quickly uh, what your data metadata is about. So you can manage data that is distributed with centralized policies and understand lineage and so forth. So where does cataloging sit in your journey, Saral, at Snapchat? So to be uh, completely transparent, we ended up cataloging way too late in our journey. Uh, at the, by then, the proliferation of data had already occurred. And so we had to go back and recatalog all of the data at Snap, which is a really hard problem to solve and something which we spent uh, uh, months uh, of, of our effort uh, doing. Uh, and so my guidance to uh, anybody uh, who's uh, thinking about cataloging is start as early as you can in terms of uh, uh, always keeping a healthy catalog of all of the data. And uh, more important than catalog is the lineage of usage of data as well. Making sure that you understand how who and how is using your data is, is really important as well. That's excellent. That's a great best practice. I hope everyone can do a similar survey at the organization. And I certainly could talk to you for hours, uh, Sorrel, and, and I hope people are going to reach out to you. So thanks for uh, spending time with us today. Thank you. I appreciate you hosting me. And we have really loved our partnership with Google Cloud, and we look forward to more of the same. All right. Well, if you're looking to learn more, of course, reach out to Sorrel, but also Click on the link down below for the full playlist of similar customer stories just like today. I'm Bruno Aziza. See you next time.